Hello guys, today we're going to be looking at dipole speakers and basically I'm just going to tell you five reasons why I prefer dipole speakers when you're using them as your surround speakers. First of all, let's look at dipole speakers and exactly what they are. So the first thing is dipole speakers, they look different to a lot of different types of speakers because they will generally have two sets of drivers so either side, so one on this side and one on this side. Typically, they will be mounted on the side walls in your listening space. So for example, in your living room. The other thing that makes them unique is that when you receive a pair of dipole speakers, each individual speaker will be individual, it will be unique. So you can't just take, let's say this speaker and put it anywhere in the room. If you look on the back, there will be a right one for the surround on the right hand side and another speaker for the left hand side and you can't mix these up. The other thing about dipole speakers is that they are actually the recommended surround speaker of choice by THX. On the other hand, they are not recommended for use in home cinema applications by Dolby. The first benefit of dipole speakers is that they are quite large they're generally large in size you don't get small like little satellite speakers with dipoles they're always usually quite hefty and the reason that's good is because the bigger the speaker is for your surround the more authentic it's going to sound as a surround speaker the task of this speaker is to produce effects that make you kind of jump out of your seat and stuff like that and if you have a speaker let's say this size that you just place on the wall it's not going to be able to keep up with the volume and dynamics that are coming from your front speakers the other thing is that because the speakers will be too small you'll probably have to cross them over with your subwoofer at a higher level for instance 100 hertz or 120 hertz with a big speaker you're crossing them at a lower level let's say 80 hertz 80 hertz which is recommended by THX and that way you're going to get a way more integrated sound field and believable sound too. Just a quick tip from me, don't be tempted to get those mini surround sound speakers that you can find where you place them up on the ceilings or high up on the walls and then you angle them down. They're not really, they're not really like the same thing. They're not really kind of fit for purpose if you're really into your home cinema you're probably not going to like something like that. That's more for convenience than anything. The other reason I like dipole speakers is because basically the way they're designed, they're meant to be placed, not at ear level, they're meant to be placed above ear level, something like 50 centimeters all the way up to, I think even a meter above ear level. And the reason I like that is because they're generally more living, living room friendly. So, for instance, if you had them at ear level, you might put them on stands and they're kind of like at eye level as well. If you put them up, they're kind of out of the way, which is a little bit more acceptable. So I prefer that. The other reason I like it is because when they're mounted above ear level, it kind of makes the sound field sound a, lot of, a little bit more expansive and it creates more distance between you and the surround speaker. The other reason I like when dipoles are mounted higher or gener generally surround speakers when they're mounted higher is because they look more like a real cinema so for instance when you've gone to the cinema if you look around you you're probably going to see a set of dipoles going down towards the screen the third reason i like dipole speakers is because they have been made for a specific purpose and that purpose is cinema they have been designed as a surround speaker they have that job in mind so personally i like it when things are made for a purpose rather than when you make one thing and it kind of does an all right job at everything the fact that dipole speakers were actually engineered to produce surround sound effects is a plus from me the fourth reason i like dipole speakers is because basically the surround sound formats we have today we have a lot of them and we haven't dropped any of the previous surround sound formats that came out 20 plus years ago. So for example, Dolby Digital 5.1, it's still a format that people use today. For example, pop a DVD in the DVD player if you still use DVDs, it will be in Dolby Digital 5.1.
another reason, for example, Netflix and Amazon and even your Skybox or something like that, it's using Dolby Digital 5.1, but the new version designed for streaming, which is called Dolby Di Digital Plus. So these formats are designed with five speakers in mind plus one subwoofer. The newer formats, like for example, Dolby Atmos, they are designed with a far greater number of speakers in mind. Now, THX historically has always recommended dipole speakers to be used as your surround sound speakers. And that's in the application of your traditional 5.1. The reason for that is because from the seating position, the way dipoles disperse the sound, it sounds more realistic and it sounds more like you can't kind of pinpoint where the sound is coming from. So THX has always recommended that. Most of the content today is still mastered in 5.1 or 7.1 audio. It's very unlikely that you're gonna be able to actually play Dolby Atmos and other object-based surround sound formats, for example, Auro 3D. It's very unlikely that you're gonna actually be able to play that back in a living room with a limited amount of speakers. And on top of that, most of the streaming formats don't even, don't even support these fully yet. So personally, I think dipole speakers they're more suitable for 5.1 and your basic surround sound in a living room. That's my personal preference. The fifth and final pro of dipole speakers is I think that they actually sound way better in a living room because your typical living room is quite a small or medium sized space. Your normal speakers are called monopoles and the reason for that is they're firing, let's say literally their acoustic radiation pattern is direct. So a surround sound speaker, that's a monopole design. For instance, if I'm sitting here and the surround sound speaker is like, just like here, and it's a monopole, it's gonna be firing directly at my ear and that's gonna cause some problems. The first problem that's gonna cause is that the only position in the room that's gonna sound optimal is gonna be the center listening position. That's gonna be the best position in the room because all the other positions will be too close to the surround sound speakers. And what you get from that is something called exit door effect. And what that means is that they're so close to you that you're unable to focus on the movie, let's say you're watching right in front of you. You're unable to focus on the front soundstage because you have this thing right next to you that's constantly blasting in your eardrum. The other problem is, if you, even if you prefer these monopole style speakers, the living room will have to be meters and meters and meters wide to be able to put them in and for them to sound correct. Most people don't have such a living room. If you do, you're very lucky. So why is it then that a dipole speaker is better at addressing the exit door effect? First of all, a dipole speaker isn't actually pointing directly at you. It's if I was sitting here, for example, Let's, let's say if I were to sit here, rather than pointing directly at my ear, it would be pointing this way and that way. So forward and back. Okay, so the way that the audio is going around the room, it's never been directed at your ears. The audio that you actually get is actually a reflection from the walls around you. Secondly, a dipole speaker, the way it works is that you have the, let's say on this side you have one set of drivers. On this side, you have another set of drivers. And typically in the middle, you don't have a driver, right? The other thing is that they are out of phase with each other. So for example, if they were in phase, let's say when they were playing music, they would, be, they would both be going out and in like so. But a dipole speaker works like this. So one side is playing, the other side is out of phase and then they're kind of going back and forth like this. Kind of like a push-pull kind of effect. And what this does is that it creates in the position that's 90 degrees perpendicular to, to this speaker, there's going to be a slight acoustic null, which means that some of these reflect these sounds will cancel themselves out. So the way you're meant to listen to dipole speakers is if I'm looking here towards the screen, the dipole speaker should be perpendicular to my listening position. And that way 
there is an acoustic knoll that's at me. You're meant to put dipoles on the sides. You're not really meant to put them as rears. You're meant to put them on the sides when you're using them for 5.1 surround sound. And what that does, it helps, again, it helps give you that feeling that the speakers, they're further away than what they are. Your focus is on what's happening in front of you from the front sound, sound stage, from the front LCR speakers. You're focusing on that. These dipoles, they sound far away and the whole thing sounds way more expansive. It can, it, it can even make it feel like you're sitting in a living room that's a lot bigger than it really is. So yeah, I prefer dipole speakers for day-to-day -day usage because I think that they are more compatible with my needs and basically what I use them for. If I were to have a dedicated home theater that was big, I might make a different decision. I would have to test some speakers and find out for myself. I have actually had a dedicated cinema room before and I did use dipoles in that room, but in some positions I had monopoles. There are advantages of monopoles and I'm gonna be addressing that in a future video. Any updates, I'll put them in the comments below. Thanks for watching the video. Did you like it? If you did, then please give us a like. Subscribe if you wanna see more content. I'll see you next time.